The doors of this church are as wide as God's love. Those are the words of Cherry Hill's founding pastor, the Reverend Dr. Frank Irvin. As I thought about Dr. Irvin's words this week, I remembered a story that I love by one of my favorite uh, preachers, Dr. Tony Campolo. Tony Campolo was in Honolulu, Hawaii on a speaking engagement, and, and when he first arrived in Honolulu, his sleep schedule was all out of whack. Uh, his body was still on Philadelphia time, after all. So even though it was 3 o'clock in the morning, Tony Campolo, he was hungry, so he decided to get up, get dressed, and go out for a little snack. He, he made his way to a small diner not far from his hotel, and he went in, and as, as he was sitting there, he notices a table full, maybe four or five women, not too far from him. Well, it only took him to a, a few minutes to, to realize that this was a table full of, of uh, prostitutes. He listens to their conversation as they're talking to one another, and the one woman says to the other, you know, I just realized Tomorrow is my birthday. After midnight tonight, I will be 30 years old. And look at me. I'm still a prostitute. Well, they all started to, to kid her. The woman's name was Cindy. And she said, you know, you all of you really ought to take me out to dinner tomorrow night or, or throw a birthday party for me since it's my birthday. And all the other women started to laugh, and they said, oh, yeah, yeah, Cindy, that's what we'll do. We'll throw a birthday party for you. For heaven's sake, you're a prostitute, after all. And they were just giving her a really bad time. As Tony Campolo sat there and listened to them, he realized they had really hurt Cindy's feelings. Cindy wore a mask, and she didn't let them know that they had hurt her feelings or how disappointed she was, but Tony could see right through that mask. Well, when they had all cleared out, Tony went to the owner of the diner and said, do they come in here every night? The owner of the diner said, yes, they come in here like clockwork. 3 o'clock a.m., they're in here every morning. Tony said, well, listen, I have an idea. I'm going to give you some money, and would you please bake a birthday cake, and would you put on it, Happy Birthday, Cindy. I'm going to go out later today, and I'm going to buy some streamers and some balloons, and we'll get some birthday hats, and we will decorate this place. The owner of the diner said, Are you crazy, man? And Tony said, no, I'm not crazy, but didn't you see the look on Cindy's face? I think she really wants a party to celebrate her birthday. The owner says, well, it does sound like fun, and it will be even more fun if you're going to pay for it. Tony said, yes, 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 I'll pay for everything. So Tony gave the owner the money. The cake was baked. Tony came in about 1.30 a.m. and he decorated the place with the, with the balloons and the streamers. The owner baked the cake and in big letters across the top were the words, Happy Birthday, Cindy. Tony had a big card that he signed and he passed it around for everybody else in the diner to sign. And at 3 o'clock a.m., right on the dot, all of the ladies came into the parking lot, and as soon as they walked into the diner, everybody started to sing, Happy Birthday, Happy Birthday, Dear Cindy. Tony came out from the back carrying the big birthday cake, and he gave it to her, and all the other women were cheering and, and, and laughing, and everybody in the diner was celebrating. Tony looked at Cindy, and she had tears streaming down her cheek. She said, I don't know what to say. I've never had a birthday party or a birthday cake in my whole life. And she, and, she took a, and she took the cake and she ran out of the diner in tears. Everybody was bewildered and, and there was a dead silence and nobody knew what to do. Tony said, this has been a very meaningful moment for Cindy. Would you please allow me to have a prayer for her? And right there in the middle of that diner at 3 o'clock in the morning in, in Honolulu, Hawaii, Tony had a prayer for Cindy. 
And when he finished the people, the prayer, all the people looked up and the owner of the diner said to him, hey, wait a minute. What kind of guy are you anyhow? Tony said, I'm a preacher. The owner of the diner said, I knew there was something strange about you. I knew this was a wild and crazy idea. Just what kind of church do you preach in anyhow? Tony Campolo said, I'm the preacher of a church that believes in throwing parties for prostitutes at 3 o'clock in the morning. The owner of the diner said, now that's the kind of church I would like to belong to. I would too, wouldn't you? That's the kind of church I've spent 26 years of my life trying to build. And most of all, I think that's the kind of church Jesus came to this earth to create. I don't know where the other ones got so prim and proper, but anybody who reads the New Testament will discover a Jesus who loved to party with all kinds of left out, forgotten people. The publicans and the sinners loved him because he partied with them. The, you might remember that even the lepers found in him someone who would sit and eat and drink with them. And while the solemnly pious could not to relate what he was about, all those lonely, forgotten people, all those people on the margins of life, those who never got invited to a party, those who maybe never even had a birthday cake, they were, they were excited. They took to him because they knew that he accepted them just as they were. So that's why I've been, I, I love Dr. Irvin's words so much. The doors of this church are as wide as God's love because that means everybody's included, even you and me. Have a good week.